All right. I know I already handed in a blog, but I got my voice back now, so I'm going to keep things uniform and not do any writing. This is the first blog in this series on attempting Salesforce for the Independent Study Unit by Zachary Milligan. Better get to answering some questions. So, first we're going to talk about the learning process and what tools I use to undertake my study. Well, for the first good little while, I just banged my head against the Salesforce platform trying to do it all myself. Didn't work out. Did not work out too well. So, the resources I used. First and primary one would be your standard Gordon Morrison. He's always very willing to help you with your projects. You just might have to pay him in beer afterwards. And he likes that fancy hipster stuff, so it costs a lot. Basically, Gord Morrison and my own personal patience was what I used to get through this. Um, it did get complicated, especially when I didn't realize I needed to use the developer edition for a lot of stuff. And then they transfer um, back and forth between the developer edition and the normal playground without really indicating which one you need to use. So it does require some... Uh, problem-solving skills of your own to even get started. Uh, that being said, um, problem-solving skills and the will to stick with a problem, you need that if you want to do Salesforce. That's another good resource. So, did I stick to my project plan? No. I think we both know why, too. Oops. In all honesty, though, I don't think it would have helped me very much anyways. I'm not one to prolong something over a long period of time. I'm a bit of a completionist. It makes me anxious when I do something halfway and leave it for a long while. It's going to be gnawing in the back of my head until it's done. I like to do things just flat out in a stretch day or two. Maybe more. Definitely more for Salesforce. And hell, I got my wish. Anywho. Deliverables and skills I've learned as of the first blog. Well, I've learned how to adjust contact fields. Basically everything an admin beginner for lightning. You know, uh, theoretically I can set up automated processes, can create reports and dashboards and add filters, do all this fun stuff with data and stop talking like this. But yeah, um, does it make me a better marketing professional? I like to think so. It's a very efficient way of storing and keeping data and sharing it. I think it makes me a better marketing professional mostly because of the sharing aspect. If it came to storing my own data, I know that the best way for me is to write it down in handwriting in a book for myself. Because uh, that particular process really just gets it stuck in your brain. But it's the fact that I can now share everything with my entire company when I write it down is pretty nice. Then again, Lord, I hate typing. And it would be so much easier to draw most of this stuff. But, uh, eh. What can you do? Except shut up and do your work, right? How would I manage the process differently? What did you learn about learning? Hmm. Let's see. Alcohol bad for learning. None of that. I think, honestly, I would have taken a harder look at the trails, because I'm looking at doing the analytics one now, and it's like, ah, oh, it's an intermediate trail that requires admin functions. And I was told not to do admin intermediate, because that might not be a fun time. Uh, another thing I'd do differently, how, started earlier, maybe not do Salesforce, although really I think that doing Salesforce is a good idea because um, as I've went on, I've gotten better at it and now I'm completing lessons and under the time limit they give me. Maybe, sometimes... The fact that you screwed up in your own personal learning 
it's a good thing. Like, I wouldn't change this instance, but this instance is going to make me change what I do the next time I have to do a project. Should be real fun.